Hey guys, I'm here at the SHOT Show floor at SIG's booth, and we've taken a closer look at one of the newest additions to their product lineups designed specifically for guys who want to get in the suppressor game, but want to do it with one tax stamp. So I'm here with Jared. Jared, can you give me a rundown of some of the features of this new piston-driven upper and what helps separate it from existing uh, MCX or, uh, or even your 516 uppers? All right, so um, this is based off the MCX platform. And what we did to make it easy for somebody, we uh, pin and welded a 7.62 titanium suppressor to a 6 and 3 quarter inch barrel. So it's nice. 16 and 3 quarter inches overall length. Uh, when you're, the customer buys the product, it's going to come with a suppressor handguard, the whole upper. It's going to come with the adapter block in order to put it onto a standard M4 lower. Nice. And it's going to come with a folding knuckle so you can get that MCX uh, folding buttstock on it as well. Very cool. And of course, if you have an MCX already, it's just plug and play. Badass, badass. Any plans to offer the adapter by itself? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that we have in the works. I know they're building the skew on that, so we can ship that out Very to dealers. Cool. As someone who's got a Virtus at home right now, it's, I, I, it's a pistol right now, and I'd really like it to be an SBR. And if it's something like this was in existence, it kind of solves all my problems. Because, yeah, I don't mind paying for a single tax stamp. That's no problem. And I feel like with a, with a setup like this, especially in 300 Blackout, with a, uh, with a barrel that short and the rest of it being an actual you know, baffled suppressor, you'll get incredible performance. But it does lead me to one question. How easily user serviceable is the can if it's currently attached? So user serviceability in the can, the whole suppressor thing, sure. um, there are some, there are different opinions on that. Okay. Uh, on a six and three quarter inch 300 blackout barrel, if you shoot supersonic ammunition through it, the muzzle pressure and heat alone is gonna blow most of that stuff out of it. So you don't really have to clean it. Um, the barrel-wise, barrel we just ask that you go from the, the muzzle back, sure. um, use a bore snake or something along, a rip cord, if, anything along those lines. If customers have a problem with it, they can send it back to six hours. Yeah, 100%. Care of it. We've got a lifetime warranty on all of our suppressors. So um, anything you can do to that thing and to break it, we're going to cover it in-house. In awesome. so. so what kind of performance are you guys getting out of this with subsonic rounds? So let me talk about, uh, real quick, everybody knows about the MP5SD. Sure. MP5SD is right around 128 dB when you meter it. Right. Um, it's kind of like the, the industry standard for sure. quiet. Uh, we've been getting right around 120 dB with this. Nice. So um, uh, substantially quieter than that. Absolutely. Any plans to, to have a similar system for the MPX coming out in the near future? Uh, maybe. maybe. We're not going to let that out there yet, but maybe. You guys have seen any of my, my extensive videos on the MPX, you know I'm a, a pretty big fan boy. This might be next up on the uh, on the damage to my bank account list. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jared. I appreciate hey, you taking no the time to talk to us. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, guys, stay tuned for continued coverage of SHOT Show 2018. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.